Hello and welcome back to Bucks County. Yep. Alright, alright. I said I was doing the intro, not you. Shush your noise. Alright, but let's just turn the engine off for a moment. There we go. So, great progress. The fields we have done have now gone past the planted stage. They are now growing, which really is good for us. Fields 44, 25. 24, 20, uh, 7, uh, 9, try and look around, our two small little fields here, um, yeah, they, they're all growing very nicely, we just now need to get into uh, field 17, because uh, we are going to be putting some soybeans in there, that is our next big job, as you can see it's now mid-spring on the 4th, so, yeah, big, big day. This is one of our big fields, as you can see. Uh, 17, 16, 9, and 7, and 25 are our, our biggest fields. So this is going to take a while, but it is part of farming, and it needs to be done. So let's uh, get started, and we are going to end up having to top this, uh, this beastie up with some fuel. Probably when we finish this field, it is uh, guzzling the old fuel a bit. Uh, let's have a quick look at the fertilizer. Is it putting any fertilizer down for the beans? It doesn't look like it's putting any fertilizer down. Okay, so that's definitely going to help out and save on fertilizer. I did top the uh, planter, cedar, slash, whatever it is, uh, back up. Yeah, a bit shaded down here because of these trees, so let's get around this. We'll do a couple of headlands, and we'll go around that little tree area. I am debating whether to... Ooh, let's just lift up and get that little piece. I am debating whether to take that out. It is more of a nuisance than anything, if I can get around there, that there. You'll have to let me know, should I take that out? You know, should we lease the old stump grinder or a couple of thousand to nearly 10,000 if I remember rightly is to lease the, um, I'm trying to remember what, it, what it's called now, the lizard, Trex, T-Rex, that's a lot of money so if we do look at leasing that, <laughs> we need to at least make it worthwhile probably look at taking out some other trees as well or something like that because do you really want to be paying 10 grand just to take that I uh, can't really see that little area out over there it's a lot of money but you know if you want it done we will get it done we will get the old uh, T-Rex or Trex out uh, at least shall we say, and uh, take that out, because we do have that same issue as well with uh, six ashes, and there are a couple of trees around that are a bit of a pain, did I get that piece, please tell me I did, no worker, get out, I'm trying to lower the machine, I'm going to hit that tree. I just know I'm going to hit that tree. I didn't hit that tree. Oh, and that's going to bug me. My OCD will kick in. I've got to get that corner piece. And I really do need to come a little bit closer. I'm struggling to see. The headland around here and how shaded it is, it's making it pretty difficult. Still, this beautiful beast, the dude's far, and uh, our other big beasty tractor, definitely doing the job. Let's just get around here. I'm thinking about planting some more soybeans as well, possibly in a smaller field as well, because soybeans, as you know, they are a very, very good earner. Um, but is the earning going to be different based on the uh, 
soil sample levels you know your pH levels and your nitrogen levels Ugh, more than likely so we're gonna have to make sure that our, our big fields are well taken care of Feels really weird it being nice and sunny and I'm round the headlands with my lights on. It's just these shaded areas around trees. Sometimes it can be pretty difficult to see. And these trees really aren't making it easy. Some of them are really close to, you know, your, the barrier of your field. Just got to keep an eye out. Big field there. Oh. Alright, let's do that. Let's lift up. This is a big field. Huh. Let's carry on. This is a big field, it's a big job. But we've got the tools to do all the job, so let's I'm going to hit that tree. Don't hit the tree. Wiggle out a bit. There we go. And my LCD is going to kick in because I probably missed a piece. Oh, no, I haven't. That really, really does surprise me. But it really is pretty bad because you, you get snagged up like that. And it, it's really annoying. Really, really is too close, these trees, to these fields. Especially when you've got pretty big equipment. I mean, but with the size of these fields, you need the big equipment. So I think at some point we might have to just get the old editing tool out and do a bit of Bob Ross, put in some happy grass rather than happy trees. Come on. Still got uh to go around that island. This is a big field. I won't bore you watching me do it all, but we will have a montage of this beast in action. Why not? It won't be as long as the last one because you've already seen this beast in action with his planter, cedar slash whatever it is. But still, nice little montage. I think I'll go along really nicely. So I'll see you all after the little montage when we've got more of this field done. Because um, I do want to check on how our silage is getting on. See if that has fermented. Fingers crossed it has. And uh, we'll get that silage hopefully put in the silo. If it has. If it hasn't, it's okay. We are running nine day seasons, so we've got plenty of time. So I'll see you all further down the line after a little montage. So I am back, just got uh, just under 15% uh, left in the tank on seed. Uh, it is taking a fair bit of time, I'm not going to lie, to get this field done. But as soon as I've got just to the edge of here, we'll have a quick look at, at what I've already done. I've already been all the way around there and done that, I've already done all that bit around there. It's uh, taking some time. But, you know, the beast is doing it. Let's just lift up and zoom out a minute so it's not too deafeningly loud. 
So let's get on here. As you can see, I've done all around here. That is soya bean. All around there was pretty much a pain. Did get the worker to do a little bit down here. Whilst I quickly went and got a drink, but then they went all derpy, so I had to stop them. But, you know, this, the RTK thing here, honestly, making them more precise, I don't see how. But, you know, they tried. But as you can see, look at this. I managed to get a fair amount done. I'm doing alright, there's just this bit left. But let me know down in the comments section below, after we have harvested these soybeans. Should we, like I asked, should we lease something to get rid of these trees, plow this grassy area out? There are a couple of rocks here, obviously. Uh, we are going to have to obviously go around them. But I have seen on Just the Farmers, the one where he, he did plow this out, that you can actually plow through the rocks, which is really weird, but you know, it's visually and aesthetically pleasing with these little rocks here you know but let me know down in the comments do after we've obviously harvested these beans do we take these trees out and uh, plow this grassy area up we will have to keep these rocks there of course we can't get rid of those unfortunately but it is what it is take it with a pinch of salt i do think it looks nice and realistic with that there but it is a real pain in the back end. But if you want me to leave them there, I will do. It doesn't bother me either way. I love using this thing. And I will just plod along at a steady pace, getting it done. Because just look at that. How pleasing does that look? I mean, beautiful tractor. Beautiful planter, cedar, slash, whatever this thing is. I would say planter. Well, I would say cedar, really, because as I have asked in previous episodes, is it a planter? Is it a cedar? Honestly, I don't know, because it can do everything. I, it can't do sugar cane. Makes me sad. But it can do pretty much everything else. <coughs> so, well, we're going to get this field done, and then I think with beans as well, what we are going to do, if we just bring up the mini map, we are going to then head on round down here. I know, we're going to go all the way down this road, and we're going to put some beans in here as well. Field 28, a nice small field. Just get some beans put in the ground there. I think it'll look nice. And uh, maybe some corn dotted around. I am debating, you know, in this big field here, around our big silo. You know, I think it might look aesthetically pleasing to get some corn in here. It is going to take a long time. We might have to look up the possibility of buying another cedar planter slash whatever this thing is just here but still I think it's going to be good it's going to be nice so yeah but still get in the old comment section on this episode let me know what do we plant we are using simplified seasons uh, so we can plant what we want when we want the only things we can't plant of course is cotton we can't plant beets or potatoes and we can't Oh, just hiccuped, if we go across, here we go, we can't do potatoes, we can't do cotton, we can't do sugar beet, we can't do popular, and we can't do sugar cane, they're the ones we can't do, so get in the old comment section, let me know what should we plant, but I really do, oh, a bit of a bobble there, let's just get that, because that will kick in Mr P's OCD, there we go, uh, but yeah, I do think aesthetically and visually it will look nice with some corn around that old silo there uh, Really nice the old Millennial farmer silo. It is a big silo and I do like that you can change it so you do have to Use certain buttons for certain augers that are connected to uh, the grain silo which I think 
brilliant right, let's just lift it up and back down <coughs> all right so what we're going to do is i'm going to crack on with this uh 201c left i might have to top up i'm thinking i i am i've gone i'm and um, oh, there we go brain fart didn't take long did it i do think i am gonna have to top up with seed so what i think we'll do is we'll quickly do that now we'll head back down here we'll get this thing topped up because we are going to need more to, to put some soybeans in the field just over there just behind where the cows are because we've only got 188 seed left uh, nine percent in the tank and the fertilizer 500 or uh, 500 5301 so in some areas i do believe the fertilizer has gone down so it's just in certain areas where it needs the extra nutrients really it is the nitrogen levels i believe i think the ph levels is the lime and i do believe the nitrogen levels is uh oh fertilizer Got a nice liquid fertilizer tank just there look and our cedar planter slash whatever it is <laughs> it's solid fertilizer of course it is right let's get the back open on here and i can't remember if i showed you this or not but i did buy a seed seed point here it's nice to use there we go cheap as you like 815 dollars beautiful right so let's just swing around oh mr p nearly hit that fence but he is slowly becoming a farmer he didn't hit the fence fingers crossed we're not doing too bad but after all of our fields are planted we're going to have a lot of work to do we do have the sprayers and all things like that going to be a lot of work to do and also i did have in the comment section about slurry or manure what do we use and uh, basically you spoke in the comments you agree with me let's keep it as slurry so that is what we're going to do we're going to keep it as slurry <coughs> and mr p is going to just randomly cough there we are. Let's just go around this tree area, grass area. Just down here, there we go. So it is going to be an episode purely just on uh, getting crops in the ground, but that's what we need to do. It is mid-spring. And obviously, the farmer needs to get the crops in the ground. All right, let's uh get down on here there we go straighten out a little bit try not to hit that rock i don't really want to be hitting that and need to reverse a touch there we go right so i'll see you all in a little while i'll get the rest of this field done and then I'll see you over in our little small field, field 28, I do believe. Uh, yep, field 28, and we'll get some beans put in there. So, I'll see you all in a little while. So, I'm back. Really wasn't easy trying to get through there with this thing. But, I made it. Just got to put my beacons on. You know, as, you, as Mr. P does. Let's try not to hit their mailbox and let's cross our fingers that a car doesn't come around here um we'll go further down because i'm not sure i can actually get through there so we'll go this way down this beautiful road oh, their crops growing nicely is that theirs or is that ours no it's not mine wishful thinking mr p trying to take other people's land oh whatever next but at least I don't have to come with, contend with traffic down here at the minute. Um, please don't tell me you're going to turn down here just as I said that. Are you? No, no, you're not. Brilliant. 
And I do love that all the entranceways on this map are wide. I mean, that is brilliant. That's one thing I do like. So let's get turned. There we go. And if you do hear a dog in the background, it is uh, my dog. Obviously, Mr. P, come on now. If you hear a dog, it's a dog. Oh, one of these days, Mr. P, your first language, English, will actually be okay. He says, hopefully, fingers crossed. But we're just going to get this done, and then that is going to be the end of this episode. Managed to get a massive field planted with beans. We're in the processes of getting this one done. And uh, just a couple more fields left to do, about three or four, something like that. And then that will be all of the planting done, which I am going to be absolutely ecstatic about. And then we've got to worry about getting the nitrogen levels up. And I'm sure it is nitrogen levels. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. But fertilizer-wise, uh, we do have the John Deere uh, sprayer. We do have the John Deere... Oh, almost hit that tree. We do have the uh, spreader as well. So we've got the best of both worlds. I do believe at the minute our John Deere spreader it still has lime in it. But that's all good. Now this is a nice piece of land here. Oh, and the views, the views, the views. I say this pretty much on every map. The boundaries are what makes a map for me. Just look around, aesthetically pleasing on the eyes. Stunning, 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 stunning creators of this map have done a fantastic job in my book but that is going to be the end of this episode i don't want to bore you to tears to sit and watch me plant this field but we're going to get it done so if you did enjoy it we've managed to get a fair bit done we've gone like i said we've got one of our big fields planted we're in the processes of getting this one done but get in the comments section and let me know what do we plant in the rest of our fields. Oh, let's just lift that up and let's have a quick look. There we go, 17 soybean, 28 is going to be soybean. The only fields we have left now, if we look, as you can see, will be field 15. The two little small fields either side of our house. Field 16, which is around our big silo. Uh, five fields. Mm. Uh, we've got field 18. Apparently, Mr. P can't count. We've got field 19. And we also have field 4 just up there. So get in the comment section. Let me know what do we plan in those fields. Till then, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And I will see you all here real soon. Ooh, on Books County, if Mr. P can learn how to drive his tractor. Not like he's a farmer. So, see you all real soon.